what words do people use then to describe Zoe and her style and her work ethic? Beast. Please welcome eight-year-old Zoe. She spars with guys, and guys that have a couple of fights, and it's easy for her. She wants to be a professional boxer. It's boxing's next great Latina champ. Her dedication is second to none. She's going to be one of the biggest stars. My name is Zoe Bonanita Bustamante. I'm 10 years old, and I do boxing. We wake up usually around 4.45, 5 in the morning. I train six days a week. Boxing's tough. It's definitely a very selfish sport. It's one of those sports that keeps you away just because of the dedication that's involved in it. With the help of family, having them there it makes things just a little bit easier. Not in a million years would I think one of my daughters would take up the sport of boxing and be so good at it. It comes to a shock to me that she chose the sport. Why did you want to take a picture of you with a bloody nose? Well, I just wanted it for memories. Zoe was sparring one day with this really tough boy. A little bit of trouble and she gets hit really clean. After the sparring, she looks at me and her shirt's all bloody and then she goes, Daddy, I want to keep this shirt. I said, why? She goes, because this is my first shirt that I've bled on. She really wants to keep certain memories. She's super proud of it. It's like I have two Zoes. I have a Zoe that she's my little girl, and she's just this little happy little girl that you wouldn't think that she's a boxer. Once you see her in the gym, she's completely a different person. I don't even know who that is. I think hand wrapping is super important because you're protecting the hands. It's very important for me to make sure that Zoe's 110% protected. Zoe likes her hand wraps to fit just right. If you're gonna be going to the gym and giving two, three hours of your hard work, you know, you wanna feel comfortable doing so. Hand wraps with gauze and tape, it's definitely an art. Ready, champ? I was born ready. She does about a three, three and a half hour regimen at the gym. When I get to the gym, I do my warm ups. I do weights with going in a circle and then I do shadow boxing. You got to be conditioned in this sport. I think every day that she goes to the gym, she gives 110%. She works hard. I think about like what we're going to be doing. Like, at the moment, that's really what I'm trying to work on. Because, you know, sometimes I would get hit. So I want to learn. Her work ethics and her understanding of boxing. She's just an amazing, amazing athlete. And Rene Moreno is her trainer. He's an excellent trainer. She's been working with Coach Rene for about a year and a half now. Uh, they have really good chemistry together. So. Plus, his kids are also fighters themselves. But he's taught Zoe tremendously. I mean, he's excelled her to the fighter that she's becoming. What he's teaching me now is like throwing a punch and then the body. I like a feeling of a punch. It feels good and I like to fight too. My job during training is making sure that Zoe's good, making sure that she has her water, making sure that I'm catching things that coach can't see. He does the work. I'm able to see mistakes that she's committing that he can't see, and we both help each other out. Time. Zoe reflects on Chris so much that, that it, it's just phenomenal. One, two. There's days that I've given her off and she's like, fine, you wanna give me a day off? I'll just be in here. When we built this gym, she was around four and a half, five years old. She would come downstairs, put on a pair of boxing gloves when it was time to go to bed, and she'd be in the gym just hitting the bag. It would be funny, because the gloves, the gloves are so big compared to her when she was so little. Boxing has really given her um, confident in herself and being who she is and nobody's gonna be able to mess with her. <laughs> Keep going all the way baby. I like boxing because it's a hard sport and you have to train hard. She does a Manny Pacquiao ab workout which is very intense. It's about 25 to 30 minutes of core workout but she'll do that every night. I want to be a great amateur fighter. I want to join the USA, go to the Olympics and be a world champion. 
if she wants to go there, then I'm ready and, and we'll see how far we can go. What I hope is that Zoe can maybe change the outlook of how people see women's boxing. A lot of people, I think, don't appreciate that a woman gets in a ring and does what a male does. For a girl to come in and get paid like these men with millions and millions of dollars, they call it impossible, but I say impossible is nothing. My little girl can do so many things by 10 years old. What can we do in the next 10 years? If Zoe can change the game of boxing, that would be incredible.